Hi there everyone, my name is Christian Eschbach and welcome to another one of my album reviews. Today we are talking BOC Blue Oyster Cult and as you can still see I got a, still got a $5 sticker on here from when I bought this album second hand. I did not get into Blue Oyster Cult until I was into my 30s. I mean don't get me wrong. I enjoyed songs like Godzilla and Don't Fear the Reaper, um, Burning for You, a couple other ones I heard here and there, and that, you know, I really did enjoy them, but I didn't really get into Blue Oyster Cult. Now, I've gotten into Blue Oyster Cult, and I was happy I picked up this album for what I did, because I think I got a great deal. Five dollars for an album I listen to regularly. Fire of Unknown Origin, first off, is the title track of this album, and it is a good way to start up this album. Blue Oyster Cult suffers from one major thing. They are a science fiction band, <laughs> science fiction heavy metal band. That does not work for a lot of people. That makes them unaccessible for a lot of people, and I hate to say it, that they are predominantly a band with a male audience because of it the narratives they're a geek band kind of thing you know they've got heavy narratives heavy symbolism stuff like that major storytelling easy to get into great riffs great hooks but just not accessible for the general public most of the time and fire of unknown origin is a really good example of that but it starts off the album perfectly from that, we go into Burning For You. I absolutely love this song. I It's always been one of my favorite Blue Oyster Cult songs, even when I didn't know it was a Blue Oyster Cult song. Uh, I find it surprising that it came out so late in their career. Um, not that 81 was that late in their career, but at that point, they had been around for a solid eight years or so. And this would have been right before the band basic, well, more than eight years, but this would have been right before the band kind of, I don't want to say disappeared or broke up or whatnot, but this would be basically right before they kind of fizzled out, we'll say. After Burning For You is followed up with Veteran of the Psychic Wars. Now, I've actually talked about Veteran of the Psychic Wars before because I covered the heavy metal soundtrack, and this song was on the heavy metal soundtrack, which was, the movie was released around the same time as this, maybe a year or two later. And Burning For You, I mean, not Burning For You, sorry, Veteran of the Psychic Wars, grabbed me right away the first time I saw the movie. The drum riffs in it, the the opening, the music, everything about it. Once again, back to that heavy-duty sci-fi, but I love this song. I mean, it really captures the idea of going to war, psychic wars even, you know, having your bl brain basically uh, psychically blown away, you know? Picturing X-Men battles with this stuff going on, you know? That's followed up by Soul Survivor. Soul Survivor is not a bad tune. I don't mind it. It works on the album when the album's playing through. It's not a song I would put on on its own, though. After that, we get into Heavy Metal, The Black and Silver. Yet again, another really good tune when you're listening to the album, but not necessarily one I would listen to on its own. Vengeance, The Pact, might be the only song on this album that, to me, might be a throwaway tune. It's not a bad tune, but it's definitely, you know, I don't get up and skip the CD or anything while I'm listening to it when it comes through, but, you know, that's that. Now we get to After Dark. After Dark is a good tune. I really dig After Dark. I really get into it. I really, there's just something about this song that is really enjoyable. It, it really, really is. Uh, it's, it's, and it's an album track though. It definitely is. It's not a single. It never would be a single, but it's a great album cut as far as I'm concerned. Then you get into Joan Crawford and Joan Crawford is campy in certain ways. 
fantastic in other ways. Honestly, if Joan Crawford really is no campier than Godzilla would be. All the way through. The same idea, the same concepts, everything like that. The music's cl clearly different. But even then, it's not a crap ton different than Godzilla. I mean, enough different, obviously. But the general Blue Oyster called feel vibe is there, you know? Great song, though, all the way. Uh, Joan Crawford, it, it does appear on one of their greatest hits albums, at least. It's a song I had never heard until I picked up their greatest hits album, and I instantly fell in love with it. I really do enjoy the song. I think it's a really fun, playful song. Um, and then the album finishes with Don't Turn Your Back. I think they should have flipped it. I think they should have done Don't Turn Your Back and then finish with Joan Crawford. I think it would have, Joan Crawford would have been a much stronger ending to the album. Don't Turn Your Back is a really, really good tune. Really good tune. But I don't think it was as good of a finisher as Joan Crawford is. Um... This album is worth picking up. Now, I found it for five bucks. For five bucks, it was a fantastic deal. If I had to buy a brand new, I'd buy a brand new still, you know? Uh, if they do, you know, one of those cool digitally remastered versions, maybe put on some extra tracks, stuff like that, I might actually go out and pick it up, you know? Because I, I felt this $5 one was a good value, and I would pass this on to one of my kids, because they both like Blue Oyster Cult, and, and I would get the new version for myself. I recommend anybody else picks up this album. If you're not sure about Blue Oyster Cult and you don't know exactly where to start with Blue Oyster Cult, I still think this is a good spot to get going. Not necessarily the greatest, but it is a good spot. Um, there might be one or two better albums to start with. But anyways, folks, that's, that's my opinion on this album. I think this is a great album. I really think you should check it out. It's got some good album cuts on it. Let me know what your opinion is. That is what the comment section is for. Otherwise, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Please feel free to hit that share button. They all help me out. Otherwise, peace, love, take care.